Hmm. It is Valentine Day and everybody is excited. Everybody out there is excited. Hmm. I pray that nobody, no lady, no man gets into a situation that they didn't plan for. Welcome to the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. This is Princess coming to you from the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. If you're new here, we're very happy to have you in our midst. And for all our old subscribers, you're welcome back to the channel. You're welcome back to our discussions. We are a faith-based channel. We talk about relationship. We talk about how to know the will of God, how to marry a godly um, Christian man or lady. And how to prepare for a godly, loving, and peaceful home. Successful marriage is actually our end goal. If that sounds interesting to you, do well to subscribe. Do well to share this video to others who need, who have the same needs like you, who are in the same situation, who may need to learn to get ready for their marriage. We have an Instagram page, DLBC Singles. On Facebook, we are Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. You're welcome to join the community and we hope that you'll stay to the end of this video. Today, we're talking about Valentine. What is Valentine? And what does it mean to some people? To some people, Valentine is a time, Valentine period is a time to show love. It's a time to, to get loved. It's a time to, um, to express love in quotes but what is love what is real love the Bible explains to us what love is all about the Bible explains to us what love is all about and you find that in 2nd Corinthians chapter 13 2nd Corinthians chapter 13 and I'm going to read to you I hope that you get to understand exactly what is the meaning of love. Sorry, I mean First Corinthians. My bad. First Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 3. But let's start from when. Paul the Apostle was talking here to the Corinthians and he said, If I have tongues and I speak like angels and I do all these great things. I have all the power but I don't have charity. Love and charity. The Bible here in this passage calls it charity. You see if I don't have charity I'm like a I'm just like a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. So what is love? What is charity? Charity suffereth long. It's not a one-time thing. It's not just a fling. You just meet somebody, you make love, you kiss, you smooch. You do all those things that, that you can't do before your parents, before people that, uh, that would take you serious. You are, you are doing those things. That's not love. It's more than that. Love is more than that. First, he said, love suffers long. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. Love is does not vaunt. It's not, it's not proud. Love is not puffy. Love does not behave unseemly. If you have if you're with somebody that behaves unseemly, somebody that wants to do some things to you. That, that they are not supposed to do. They want to touch you indecently. They want to taste of what, what they, should, they should have only when they are married to you. And you are letting them do that? That's not love. It's lust. Love does not seek its own. That's very important. Love does not seek its own. Love is not selfish, in other words. Love is not the kind of one that just wants to take for its own benefit. 
It's not what you just, you just want to take. You just want to have your feel. And that's all that matters to you. That's not love. Mm -mm. That's not love. Love is not only taking. Love is giving. Just like Jesus did for us. By giving his life on the cross of Calvary. For the salvation of your soul. Love is not the one that 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 is easily provoked it does not think evil if you are thinking of using a man or using a woman and dumping them that's not that's not good you're not thinking of doing right by somebody that's not good that's no more you are, you are almost out of the league of what the bible categorizes as love but it tells us what love is he says, love bears all things, it believes all things, it hopes all things, it endures, endures all things. Charity never fails. Valentine is just a fling, one day thing. After that, when ladies come back and say, oh, I think I'm pregnant. The man was like, really? For who? No, I'm not ready for a baby now. I'm, I still have my life to live. I'm still, I, I still have a lot of things to do with my life. I'm not ready to be a father. And that's why. To have a love that will not fail you, you need to do it the right way. If you've not given your heart to Jesus, you need to give your heart to Jesus. You need to make him your friend. You need to have a relationship with God. And after that, you will be able to experience what true love is. If you do not know what true love is all about, you can't give love. You cannot give what you don't have. That's the reason why you need to understand that Valentine is not just whiling away your time in passion, ungodly passion. That's not the essence of real love. Don't go there and just have a fling only to have regrets. This Valentine, this 14th of February, I want you to remember something. That Jesus loves you and he has the best for you. Jesus does not want you to just play around and mess yourself up. Jesus does not want you to, to thwart your destiny, to thwart your, 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 your dreams because of a one day, of a one day experience. God is telling you today that he has better plans for you, that he has more for you, that he wants you to, to use this time and think about the love of Christ. Don't be lured by anybody that is pros professing love to you one day, quick, fling-like kind of love. No. Embrace the love of Christ. Understand the kind of love that Jesus has for you. Understand that true love does not fail. True love endures. True love gives, does not take. True only. True love is a two-way street. It gives, it takes. It's patient. It's kind. So please, don't be carried away by your passion, but learn to understand that your own time to enjoy true love in marriage will soon come. Don't mess yourself up because of the world's craze, the world's madness, the world's drive and all the noise about Valentine. Love is more than just a one day passion that will not last. Thank you very much for listening to me. And I hope you would come next time for another video. Don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. And please put in the comment section below your thoughts about this. What is Valentine to you? And how do you spend Valentine? It's an opportunity to tell people about the love of Christ. Don't forget to share the love of Christ. The love that went to the cross. The love that died for us. The love that is still praying for us. The love that didn't mind your state of enmity with God. A love that left his whole glory in heaven. 
and come down, condense, condescended to the state of being a man and suffer the cross just for you and me. I pray that the Lord gives us wisdom and peace. God bless you. Until next time. Goodbye.